So we've written the history of DNA, which we call the biocode, so the sum of DNA on Earth, sort of past, present, and where it might be going. So what we tried to capture in the book is this blistering pace of technological advance and conceptual advance and the excitement in the field. So we don't focus just on one subject. We tried to make it very, very broad. Um, and in this breadth, kind of give an idea of how fast the field is moving. And of course, most people will know DNA because of the Human Genome Project. It was the first big science project in biology. We're talking about how this century is the century of biology. We're finally starting to really understand life. We've understood physics, astronomy. Now it's time to, to look inward. Um, and from the Human Genome Project came the technology, the concepts, the informatics, the infrastructure, the know-how to really look at genome sequences. What most people don't know is that we've been looking at genome sequences longer. So we started with the first bacterium, a, a microscopic organism, in 1995, and now we have thousands of other genomes to help us complement the human genome. So why would we want to sequence all these other genomes? First, we need to, to understand the human genome. We share many of our genes with our bacterial ancestors. Um, we have pathogens, which we need to sequence. There are about 200 microbial pathogens. And one of the big messages of the book um, is that we're all part of this living biocode. Um, but certainly, it's having one of the biggest impacts on us being able to see the invisible world in a new way. One of the big messages of the book is that we're on the cusp of a new field, biodiversity genomics. So this is the merger between the study of biodiversity, and there could be more than 10 million species on Earth, we still don't know how many species there are, and genomics, which largely has been uh, one genome at a time uh, to get started, but now we're looking at larger and larger collections of genomes and can answer more questions about how organisms work to create the world that we see around us. So out of biodiversity genomics are now many different applications and it brings together several fields, genomics, metagenomics, which is a study of communities, so if I pick up a sample of soil or water I can tell the microorganisms that are there, and a phenomenon called uh, barcoding, so this is essentially assigning a DNA name to different organisms. And of course once we have this information we build reference libraries and we can track the flow, the evolution, the ecology, the environmental change on these different organisms. So we try to go in the book from uh, the discovery of DNA by Watson and Crick um, to the 50 years later in the human genome to now where we're sort of looking on a, on a global scale how life using this biocode software creates what we see around us.